Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back with another one bringing to you a new video. So today we're going to be talking about Def Squid. It's a new app on the Amazon Fire Stick. It may be a little older to you, but it's new to me. I saw a few YouTubers talking about this app, so I thought I'd bring it to you over here. It does look like it has a lot to offer in case you're not aware of what this app does. It will produce peak performance on your Amazon Fire Stick. So if your Amazon Fire Stick's running slow, you need to clean it up. You need to check the speed test to see if your streaming quality is good to minimize on buffering. This app is gonna take care of all of that for you. The greatest feature for me, I love when I have access to force close apps within one app or one program. It just makes it more convenient. So let's go through these tabs one by one just so I can show you everything that it has to offer. And let's go ahead and start with the privacy tests. So privacy test, this is the first tab that we come to. It says security status VPN is low. This is my personal IP address that my device is just getting over my current Wi-Fi at the moment. I'm not currently using a VPN, but if I was to connect the VPN to the Amazon Fire Stick, let me just give you a glimpse on if this security status will change, if it'll stay low or if it'll go high. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my IP Vanish that I have installed on my Amazon Fire Stick. If you need a VPN, you can definitely check out the description below. I'll leave a link for you there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the green connect button so I can get a VPN IP address. It's connecting me and we are connected. And I have a IP address of 216. That's the start of it. So I'm going to go ahead and click my home button on my Fire Stick remote. We're going to go down to Def Squid. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And right now it says privacy test low. Let me go ahead and click on privacy test again to get it to reload. All right, so I clicked on privacy test again to get it to reload. Now we are connected to our VPN using IP Vanish. As you can see, my security status is raised to high and my new IP address is in green as well. So that's a plus. Also, if you don't have a VPN, it definitely does help you stay incognito in case you wanna stay hidden from certain eyes that are watching you. So we have clicked on the speed test tab. One thing you'll notice on this tab, you will notice that the speed test does automatically run in the background. You don't have to click on anything. It's just automatically gonna run a speed test for you. And this is using speedtest.net if you're familiar with the website. Um, as you can see on the right hand side, my speed came back as good. My download speed is coming back at 148 megabits per second. So that's definitely good. Those are top speeds if you want to make sure that you're streaming in 1080p, 4K quality. Also, if you're not getting those speeds, definitely refer to your internet service provider to see what package you're paying for and if you can get an increase because that will definitely help the experience, especially running things over Wi-Fi. So we can go ahead and start cleaning our device with the one-click button that says start cleaning device. You just click it one time. It says here, do you want to delete old APK files that are no longer needed? Sure, we don't need them. Let's go ahead and get rid of them. So it's deleting all of that. It goes from 0% all the way to 100% to let you know that everything has been wiped. It says here 38 optimizations have been wiped from my device. So that's perfect. As you can see, everything's just conveniently spaced out for you on each tab. And you can just go through one by one and this will speed up your device tremendously. So if we go down here, you can do a start deep scan on all. So if I just click on deep scan or if I wanted to, I can just click on individual apps. If I click on the individual apps, you'll see that each one is going to go one by one. It says here another app is running. So I can't do a scan on one app if I'm already running it on another app. As I click on each app individually, you'll see the loading bars to indicate that it is doing a scan on that particular app. But once again, you do have the option to click on deep scan and it'll scan everything. It may take a little bit of time, but it'll get it done. All right, and while that's scanning, I can make my way over to my device. Under here, these are just shortcuts, application, device, network, controller, home theater. If I click on those items, it just takes me to the settings and they're pretty much just quick shortcuts in case I wanted to check to see what apps I had installed really quickly. You can just do that, but I'm gonna go back. You can also do the same thing if you click on device, but I don't need any of these shortcuts at the moment. I'm gonna go to the last tab that we have, which is manage apps. I'm gonna open that up and in here right away, you can see for stop, for stop or uninstall. So we can for stop or we can uninstall right within this app. So that's very convenient. 
So I'm going to go to Food Network Kitchen. And we can click on Force Stop and click the Back button. And you may be familiar with the app Background Process List. And that's where we were Force Stopping a lot of the apps. But this one has a lot more to offer within the app. So now we can Force Close and also clean our device and also run virus scans, which is a huge plus. So I'm going to go through these one by one and just click on Force Stop. That way I don't have anything running in the background that could potentially slow my speeds down. So I close out all of these apps except for Def Squid. I can go back to my home screen and now we can use our device and it should be running flawlessly and much, much faster. Also, one thing with this app, it is in the Amazon Fire Stick app store. It's very easy to find. So you would just hover over the find button or you can search for it through your Alexa voice activated feature. So I'm going to go down to search and I'm going to just type in deaf squid. It starts to auto populate as you type in deaf. So I'm going to go ahead and click on deaf and then we'll go ahead and click on deaf squid and then it should give me the option to download it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on download and that will download to my device and you'll have it for yourself on your Amazon Fire Stick. So I did want to let you know that Death Squid is out there. You can definitely use this app daily to make sure that your Fire Stick is running at peak performance. So this will definitely speed up your device. Now you can check your speeds, clean up your device, do a virus scan, and you can close apps and you can also uninstall apps right from within this app so it doesn't get any more easier than that and i hope this helps you but once again thank you so much for watching this video give it a like comment subscribe and i will see you in the next one peace